Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we arrived at Arpeggio's airship in hopes of finding the missing clockwork parts that were stolen from us. However, we were too late, as Arpeggio was able to rebuild Clockwork's body, and was about ready to join with it to become immortal himself. We also learned that Neela had been betraying every single person that she has met. She betrayed the Cooper Gang, Interpol, Carmelita, the Contessa, and the Claw Gang because she killed Arpeggio and took the Clockwork body for herself. She's now flying around out here. You can actually see her flying around in the background. And our job now is to stop her before the hate hypnotic light show goes off in Paris and she essentially becomes immortal from all the hatred. Now, before we head out, uh, I'm going to swap over to Bentley. And the reason behind not going to the thief net is just because I know for a fact we do not have the money to actually get any of the gadgets that are there. The setup for this level is also going to be very particular. The, lo okay, the layout of this is it's going to be a co-op mission between both uh, members of the game. And I'm in a really bad spot. I can't read the mission names. I really am in a bad spot because I can't read the mission names. And that's one thing I always never liked about this. The fact that you can't see the mission names unless you go through the Binocucon. But even then, the location of where you are uh, determines if you can or can't uh, read what the mission names are. And I'm not a... Okay, he's patrolling that way. So I think we can safely look at the missions while we're standing right here. So, we got four missions out here. Two Sly, one Bentley, and one Murray. We got Bentley-Murray team up. We've got Murray-Sly tag team. We've got the Charge TNT run and the Sly-Bentley conspire. The way I want to go about this is... A certain uh, kind of a clockwork order uh, a clockwise order we're gonna start with Bentley go to Bentley and Murray then we're gonna go and do Murray Sly and then do the charge TNT run and then finish off with Sly and Bentley I could have started with Sly and then Sly and Bentley Bentley Murray and then Murray Sly and also could have done the charge TNT run first however the location of the vault for this area is actually in the Murray mission with the Murray Sly tag team so I want to wait until we get all of the clue bottles before we go and jump in to do that. To do that. And the reason I want to pick Bentley first is because, well, while we... Oh, no. While we can't really get... Oh, God. Okay, well, that was able to escape these guys. Uh, oh, well, this is really bad. Well, this is really bad because of no safety railings. Thank God I got a jetpack. Just run. Just run. Actually, you know what? This is going to be a very risky maneuver. But it's time to run very fast. Just do a bit of a roundabout here. I wanted to go as Bentley first because he is the only one who's going to be able to snag the clue bottle at the moment. Seems how we still don't have the money for the slight one. Or for the slight gadget that will allow him to get up there. So... Now, this time, if I don't get so rudely interrupted by these guys, we're going to head on up there and we are going to go and snack that clue bottle and maybe also grab a couple of other ones that are around the area. And you know what? I'm just going to put you to sleep because you are nothing but a pain in the ass. There we go. Alright, hop up here. Camera, can you please be kind to me for once? Thank you. Snack that for Bentley. And let's just do a once around out here just because I know there's a couple that Bentley can get. Most of which it's going to be a sly thing to get to snag any of the missing clue bottles. One of which is right over here. And thankfully that guard didn't hear me. I know I saw one down here earlier. Yep, there it is. There we go. And I might as well do a once around here just to be safe. There's one down there, but that's one that only Sly can get because it's on a little rail down there in front of a hook. There's one right back here. There's one right here. And you know what? This is also a pretty hard one for Sly to get. It's possible to get it with him, but it's always easier to get it with Bentley because, you know, hover pack. Or you could have just dropped down here from above like I just did. I think there are any more down there aside from one that's in like that, that middle propeller, but that's on the other side. 
So I think in terms of clue bottles that Bentley can get, we're pretty good on them. Uh-oh. Get up there, Bentley! That could have been really bad. I don't know how that exploded. They really need to safeguard this equipment because it can be really dangerous up here. So let's make our way over to Bentley, and I want to take note of Neela flying around. I, I know her name. She names herself Clockla at this point, but that's a really stupid name, and I'm not going to say that. Neela basically acts like a moving searchlight. Uh, she does have a set pattern of which she flies around the airship, but, however, there are certain points when she flies over the airship, she will basically project to spotlights from her eyes. If those spotlights catch you, then she will shoot a barrage of missiles at you, so you need to be really fast and also be very careful that you don't actually get caught up in it. There's a bunch of hiding places around here, not just used for guards, but you can also use it to hide from Neela's spotlights, so if you see or hear her flying pretty close, definitely go and hide someplace because those uh, those missiles can actually be pretty hard to avoid. I think they do track you a little bit. That's one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. The Murray will be ready to go. Right after I kill this guy. I, I said right after I murdered this guy. There we go. And you know what? Let's grab this one just to prove that Bentley is just as good as Sly. And we're almost done with all the clue bottles for Bentley. All right. So, of course, what would a Bentley mission be without hacking? And you know my feeling towards hacking, but guess what? I actually like the hacking now. For whatever reason, in the final episode of the game, my controller's starting to stick. Uh, they actually uh, upgrade Bentley's little hacking drone right here to shoot ricochet shots. And honestly, it's for the best. I really, really do like the, the fact that they changed this. Although I don't know why... Is actually like sticking to the right. That is weird. All right, well, whatever. Either way, uh, you get to start ricocheting shots, and you can just start bouncing them around to hit the turrets away or from a safe distance. In fact, I probably should be shooting down this way. There we go. That's what I have to do. Or out that way. There we go. I fixed care of that. There. I uh, took care of those ones, but not the ones I wanted. Come on. Where's that sweet spot? There we go. Yeah, I definitely prefer this over past hacking attempts because A, your shots seem a little bit bigger than they were before, and B, uh, they also seem a little bit stronger than before. And you don't have to deal with the, the small, fast drones all the time. Alright. Second hacking node is right over there. I remember seeing that. And I'm just gonna shoot you in the butt. And blow you up. And, of course, we gotta wait for this propeller to stop turning. One cool thing I, I will admit about this level is the fact that it actually does teeter and turn at every so often. Like how you see the background is at an angle, but you see like the clouds are starting to move, like uh, starting to level out, and then it starts tilting the other way. That That's one cool thing I like about this, and I think it actually is in tandem with the back propellers here because they keep turning. Uh oh Here and hack this terminal. All right. Got small drones this time, got the fast shooting turret drones over there, so the fact that I got bigger shots, uh, these should be easy to take care of. Stay right here, stay right here, take out this drone, shoot back a little bit. There we go. 
yeah, th th this is basically the payoff of me saying that I was never a fan of the hacking minigame in this game is the fact that, oh, hey, guess what? I actually do like the last hacking that you do in the game. Sad they never brought it back for the rest of the series. I, I really do like the ricochet shots in this. They kind of do something like this in Thieves in Time, but at the same time, it's, it's just like... It's, it, it's just not the same. There's not even really an explanation as to why your little hacking drone has ricochet shots at this point. Maybe it was just something Bentley was practicing while they were waiting to spring to get the clockwork parts from Archipeggio. Uh-oh. Starting to get a little overwhelmed here. Open it. And we're good. Alright. Last one is over there by the engine itself. That way we can just let Murray in. And I completely whiffed it. Oh boy. This is, okay, you know what? We're gonna go for this one with Bentley. Just to avoid the guards easier. Oh boy. Just keep running, just keep running. Why did there have to be a flashlight guard up here? Can I get up here with the hover pack? I think I can just... Yep, I can just barely make it. And might as well see if there's actually any clue. There's one over there on those lights, but I don't think I can get to it with Ben Lee, even with the hover pack. We'll see. It's probably going to get me hurt or killed. Or not. They can just get me a clue bottle. Nice. I hear clinking, but I think that's actually down below. Yes, I'll get that with Marie once we get done with this engine. Alright, there we go. Done. Now we've got shooting drones that move, but they're very slow. But, you know, there's a lot of angles for this one, so you can just use the ricochet shots to hit them before they get anywhere near you. If you can judge the right angle. Even for the most part, it seems like the little drones here are kind of scared of you because they don't push as hard as any of the past ones do. be a very hard push to get into that node. Alright, go for it, go for it, go for it! Oh no, this was bad. This is a mistake. The sticking is not doing me any favors either. Go, 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 go! Got it. Just in time, too. Seems easy enough to t take care of. I do like. I do like the the engine room shenanigans with with the game because it actually does play to like their strengths. Like so this is gonna be a combat challenge uh, mixed in with the fact that Marie is able to lift heavy stuff, and also you know it, it's also gonna result in him having to do a signature thunder flop. And unfortunately, uh, the Murray is a force to be reckoned with, and he can't just gently set things down. Like that. Sacrifice that explosive barrel. Alright, here come the guards. And unfortunately, there is no hiding from the guards in here. I think every battery you lift up, one guard comes into the engine room. Oh yeah, these guys are actually 
not taken out in one hit with Murray's Fist of Flame. Alright, let's see if we can actually get this battery up before this guy gets over here. Oh no. Go, 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 go! Uh, just barely made it. Alright, just two more to go. Guards, but I think I should be able to get to the upper floor before they make my, their way over to me. Nice work. Head up to the second level and Going up. on the giant cylinders. That should finish them off. And now we have to deal with these little drones here. They're really easy to take out. I think they only take like one hit. The only thing that's really annoying about them is the fact that they swarm you big time. But yeah, one hit and they're done for. Just what you gotta do is keep thunder flopping these batteries back down into where we lift them up. Perfect. Now head into the control booth and pull the plug on this thing. Murray's definitely the easiest out of all the generators to take out. I guess maybe the second easiest would be Slys, and Bentley is definitely the mo most challenging out of all of them. All right, let's break this real quick. Another engine bites the dust. What do you mean another engine bites the slide? This is the first one we took out. Maybe that's why Bentley's the brains of the outfit, because Slide doesn't remember the fact that this is our first engine. That or they just weren't expecting people to actually do Bentley's mission first out of all the engine rooms. Alright. Let's head out of here. And as I said I was going to do Murray's next, I actually do want to swap up Sly. We're still going to do the, the Sly and Murray one, but before we do that, I want to grab the last of the clue bottles and also grab all the treasures that we are missing out here. Because there's only nine more clue bottles that we need to snag. And I believe that there's one right here around the... Yep, there it is. Of course, I can't really do anything with that flashlight guard, but thankfully there's an egg dispenser right here. Oh, and he's already moving up that way. All right, fine. I'll just smash that bottle right now, and we'll go pick up Sly and go do some trade momentum. Oh, boy. Here, head up here. Take you, take you out. Call a doctor. All right, Sly. All right, now, if I remember the location of a couple of the treasures, I know we saw a couple of them. We saw one up at the generator in the top area, and we saw one down here at the bottom uh, part by that uh, one small propeller. There we go. I think we'll go grab this one first, just because there's also these clue bottles down here we can snag. And I believe, if I remember right, the third treasure for uh, for this area is actually up on the other upper generator. Wait, was there a bot? No, there was only one bottle on those. Huh, okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, nope, there it is. And since they heard that, I might as well just swing over here. Yeah, the thing about these guards it, it, that's actually unique to them is, while they're not as strong as the Goose Guards from Canada, they're still pretty strong because they're immune to the status effects. Well, not immune, but they won't get one-shotted by Slyer Murray from, from like their electrical attacks or their fire attacks. So, they're kind of dangerous, but not that dangerous. I'd rather fight these guys than fight the Goose Guards, because at least these guys are very slow in their attacks, so they're pretty easy to avoid. Alright. Uh, do I want to 
want to do the mission or do I want to eat? Do, I think it takes me up to the upper level, so I might as well do the slime mission, then we'll save the treasure for next time. This engine room is locked down tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up. Uh, Sly, that's very concerning of you to say. Bet that he's so happy to blow stuff up. Usually that's Bentley's thing. Alright, well, it wouldn't be a Sly mission unless it involved us sneaking around in a barrel. So we're just gonna sneak on over here. The charger locations are one up there by... Oh, God. I'm dead. Oops. I didn't think he was gonna do a 180 like that. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Thank God that guy's actually going away this time. Or he's gonna round the corner again, unless there was... Did he just spawn in there? Whatever. Anyway. Okay, I'm getting really sick and tired of, of this guy. Okay, no more games. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, he just spawns in out of the void over there. Take you out, so you don't be a nuisance anymore. And now we go around the corner. I believe now only flashlight guards patrol this area, which makes sense because it would be very unfair if the regular guards were out patrolling because they could, because you couldn't see their vision cones. Charger. Second one's over there. Third one's up by the generator that Murray went into, so we're just gonna tiptoe our way on over here. Thankfully, there's no flashlight guards uh, patrolling up here, otherwise, that would be very, very cruel of this game to do. Well, it's also cruel to the fact that I have to deal with this guy down here. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna wait for him to go ahead of me. I think he's probably going to go up there and then turn around and march back down to the lower platform. And the second charger is all the way up by where the safe house is. I'm going to wait for him to actually march back down there before we head down there. Alright, and go. Hmm. I, it's a good thing I stopped when I did. You're a bottle clinking. Maybe it's something I can pick up even while I'm in the barrel, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Alright. Charger. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's just go this way. Head down here. Now, you might be wondering, well, now we're on the lower area. How are we supposed to get up back to the the third tier of this to get to the third charger? Well, you go into the little pressure pad right here. And just let you up here. I uh, hear the clinking, and I believe it's up there on that balloon. Which sucks, because that's where a slime mission is. I believe, yep, it's right there. And it's right on top of where a slime marker is. I'm just going to stay right here while this guy comes down here because there's no way I'm going to be able to sneak past him. Pathway's too narrow. And the thing about guards is if they start nudging you while they're doing the patrol, they actually will attack the barrel, which will basically cause you to get exploded into a million tiny raccoon pieces. 
emergency. But otherwise, we are only five away, well, four away, because we know technically where the next bottle is, which is over there. So I'm guessing that the last of the bottles are over here on this With engine. The TNT barrel all charged up, it's time to deliver the payload to that engine. And of course, it couldn't be that easy enough that it would be the engine that we just picked up the third charger from. No, it has to be on the opposite end. So we're just going to tiptoe our way over here, see if we can actually get the timing on this right, because you do need to be fast when it comes to the spinning propeller right here, also floating egg. Go, 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 go. Just probably going to barely make it. Ooh, there we go. Also, watch out for Neela, because she can still attack you even if uh, you're running around in the barrel. I'm just going to wait right here for this guy to... Start patrolling back down that way before I start moving. All right, this is honestly the safest place for the barrel right now. Just because no guard can get up here, A, and B, you can scope out the pat patrol pattern these guys have. I'm just gonna stop ourselves right here because I feel like this guy's gonna turn around any second now. Oop, it's a good thing I stopped. Oh boy. Alright, let's wait for this guy to move past this and then we'll go up there and detonate the barrel. Right, I'm actually gonna wait for this guy to move a little bit further just because. Three, two, one, and we are done. That should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. Honestly, the payload for that was not really worth all that effort. All right, with two engines down and only two more to go, next time on Slide 2 Band of Thieves, we'll continue to fight against Neela, take out the last two engines, get the last of the cool bottles, get the treasure from the vault, and maybe start our treasure hunt for the last of the treasures in the game. See you guys next time. Later.